Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. This is Michael 217 and um, last time I got this shrine to appear by defeating three Hinoxes and bringing these orb nexuses up to these three receptacles. So that was a lot of fun. But um, now I'm gonna just go on in, of course, and see what's in the shrine. Um, it's probably just gonna be a blessing, so. Uh, might not be much, but uh, something I want to do before I go in, though. Now that I'm in a new section of Hyrule that I haven't even um, unlocked the map for, um, I'm actually going to take off my, she my Sheikah sensor. So that way, it'll give me a chance at least to locate some shrines on my own. Um, I'll, you know, I'll try to cover the territory as best as I can, going all the way across the southern part of Hyrule. And then eventually I'll turn the Sheikah sensor back on when I feel the time is right. So, but for now, we're going to have it off. Which should make gameplay a little more exciting. A little more rewarding, anyway. Uh, discovering shrines without any help. So, I'm looking forward to that. And as I assumed, it is indeed a blessing. Which is fine. I'm cool with that. I can get a weapon from this. It's a pretty good weapon. Yeah, the southern part of the map it is very electric oriented. Oh, there's no inventory space for it. I would didn't mind ha oh I already have one, don't I? And then again I have some pretty weak vocal weapons right here. I can drop one of these. I'll get rid of that. I wouldn't mind having another one of these. So yeah, I mean, you know, whenever you're doing the blessings, you know, it just it feels odd to pass up the treasure that they give you because that's really what the blessing is. I assume it's the treasure, which is presented right in the middle of the thing. All right, that'll give us two spirit orbs, and we will move on. Um, pretty randomly too. I don't have anything in mind right now. Uh. You know, since we're in new territory, there's not really m much to give me a game plan. I know I can seek out the tower. That would be a good game plan, I suppose. Um, so I'm just gonna just wing it for a little while, and uh, that's really about it. You know, now that we have to seek the Sheikah sensor off, I'm gonna have to kind of go off my instincts a little more when it comes to locating shrines. Of course, you know, we should be finding some shrines that are um, out in the open. And actually, here we go. No, that's not a shrine. Never mind. I thought this was a pedestal right there. You see that right ahead? That's one of those watchtowers that the uh, coblins or whatever enemies would use a nearby camp. So I s could still go that way. I really just want to start from the east and move my way west. So that's what I'm going to be doing when uncovering this southern part of Hyrule. I will take on this camp because it, you know, it caught my eye. Um, I thought I was going to be getting into another shrine. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. Let's see if I can be quiet. Oh, don't blow your horn, don't blow your horn. No, he got it. Damn, I was going to try to get it shot off on him before he blew his, blew his horn off. Ooh, that was nice. Got a kill off right there. Here, let me see if I can throw this down on his head. Ah, uh, almost. Here, I got an idea. I can shoot a fire. Look at my confusion. I can shoot a fire of that, blow that up, knock him away. Also, just go ahead and get the treasure up here. If it's nothing special, I'll just leave it. Or, like, if I can't hold it. I can't hold that. I'm surprised, actually. I didn't think I had any room for bows. Then again, did, what did I... I think it was a shield um, spot that I got from the Korok guy. You know, as far as uh, inventory, when I did that last episode. That would be an easy kill. I really shouldn't be wasting fire arrows. Ooh, now I'm back to... Am I using other... Ooh, shit, I have to switch out. Just, nope, nope, just fight with melee weapons. No time to mess around. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to run and get that guy to shooting at me. Because he is... I really don't want to have to eat, but I'm gonna have to. 
I have fairies, though. I, I really want to try to not eat if I can help it. Oh, switch out your... Mm, this is bad. Here, let's go here and just select inventory this way. Give me time to breathe. Uh oh, that's not good. That gets me away from them. Now they're gonna be throwing rocks at me. Well, I'm not gonna leave this camp here. But now I can approach it from a different way. Are those enemies? No, they're just brightly colored trees. I thought they might have been uh, camouflaged Lithalfos. Okay, so I wanna make sure I get that guy who's shooting at me. That guy right there. He looks like he's just a, he should just be a red one. He's a hell of a shot, though. He got me really good earlier. Uh-oh. That wasn't far enough. I don't think I have any of a sniping type of bows, do I? I do not. I actually wouldn't mind going to something a little bit weaker. Not weaker, but I just don't want to have that multi-shot on me. I don't need it. Okay, we'll go a little bit higher. One shot should do it to this guy. I'm still too far. Really thought these bows were better range than that. There we go. Headshot too. So that takes care of that. That guy's higher up, which I don't actually mind that. And keeps him away from me. I really want to take out this weaker guy first. Just so he's not bothering me. I can just pop him. Oh, this is not the weaker guy. This is the Well, he's weak end. I know I had another yeah, I had another Oh, you know what? That was probably the guy who landed the shots on me. So that's the one I have to look out for, not that red one I just killed. This is the guy that I was looking for, though. just want to get him out of the way. Even if I don't get him straight in the head, that's fine. And boom. Okay. So this guy, I'm just going to have to fight him off over here. The other guy's running for me, so i got to be careful. Got to be mindful of him coming up on me. Okay, let's run away a little bit so he maybe lose track of where I am keep him distracted. Why oh, I keep firing shots at this guy. Not too far away now. Or I can lure him out of the range of the of the archer. Either one. I just can't have them both attacking me at the same time. That's not good. The archer moved up a little bit, so that would give him a better shot. If I can be ooh, if I can be crafty. Hold up. Keep an eye on the archer up there. So I don't get shot at. I might be able to sneak this guy. Shh. I'm watching the archer. Oh, she's moving. He's moving. I just don't want him to alert his friend. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Get a weapon out. Oh, boy. I almost messed that part up. You have to have a weapon equipped in order to to do that, to do the sneak strike. I just keep hitting them. I don't even give them a chance to attack. Okay, now we gotta run away a little bit. I just, I really want to do this without having to eat anything. Just get the masses sorted out. It doesn't really matter when I'm, what melee weapon I have. I'm just gonna keep shooting this guy from afar. He's gonna move up again. Which may make him tough to hit. If I can... He's running around trying to find where those shots are coming from. I'm going to try to get up here. Hopefully he can't hit me when I'm trying to climb it. He doesn't know that I'm here yet, which is good. And he can't hit me from this. So that's good. Now I can get up high. I can just shoot him from up here or I can jump down. Either way. Works for me. I hear music. Oh, I'm right out of town, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, the music in this game really does carry far from, like, the towns and stuff that you're, that generate the music. I am... I'm just gonna throw it. It probably don't even reach... It doesn't even reach the damn thing. But now he's alerted. Here, ooh, we have another one of those things right next to him. I can shoot a bomber out down there. Blow that up. That would do some good damage to him. And we're just gonna be cheap and keep shooting them from up here with bomberos. Whatever works, he'll knock him off there. He's still alive though. That guy's getting beat up pretty good, and he's still alive. Here, I'm gonna finish him off like this. I'm gonna jump down and 
do one of these. Boom, bomb arrow right to the face. Didn't gain much from that, but it was fun. I gotta make sure I get the uh, gems and stuff from the other guy. It's cool. Wow, it's really neat. I never really thought about that. Yeah. When the you get the updrafts, the materials actually float up in the air. I've never really seen that before. This is the other stuff from the silver guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid using food. Now that I'm close to the town, I can just sleep on one of the inns or something in, down there. Cover my health without having to eat anything. So yeah, this is another one of the villages in the game. It doesn't really offer much, though. Lor... L L L Lorellin Village. I don't, that's a, for some reason a tough word to pronounce. Lorellin Village. I hope I'm saying that right and probably not saying it right. It rains a lot down here in this area of Hyrule, like southeast. Near, like, uh, nearby this village. Um, it rains a lot down here, which can be really annoying. Oh, this is like a classic treasure chest game where you just pick one and... Um... You get to pick the right one to get a prize. You see this, like, this is in Oath of the Past. Where, you know... And it, I think it's Ocarina of Time, too. There are games that I like saw over these Zelda games where you pick the right chest and get the top prize. So I'll go ahead and do this. It's probably just going to be rupees. So, um, still, it's something to do. It's a Zelda tradition to do this, so we got to go with the tradition. Uh. What's the bet? Oh, yeah, you got to place a bet down? I didn't know about that. Hmm. I thought it was just going to be 20 rupees to play. Okay, yeah, I'm in. Uh. What am I going to do? Oh boy. Okay, you can't select. I was gonna say, I was gonna, gonna maybe go with 10,000. We'll go with the 100. We'll go with the full amount. <laughs> I wonder what the top price is gonna be, though. Oh. Okay. Well, I always go with the left. That's my tradition. And, it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try again. I'm gonna keep trying until I get the top prize. I might as well. I mean, I'm so rich, I can afford to keep tossing in a hundred rupees. So we'll do it again. And this time, I'm gonna go... I See, I, I tend to just keep picking the same one until I get it right. So we'll do that. Next time I'll change it up, but... Oh, of course. Alright, we'll change it up, and then, of course, we'll get the green rupee again. Damn. Two in a row. It's, it's probably just 300 rupees, too, so I'm really just going to make my money back if I get it this time. Because there's nothing bigger than 300. I'll go middle. That's just unbelievable. At this point, I can't profit from this game. I cannot profit from it. Okay, we'll, we'll keep doing it. I'm not going to waste like the entire episode in here. I'm going to try it two more times. Five attempts. We'll go back to my favorite chest, the left one, and get green. Again. Yes, yeah, I maybe they're all green. Maybe it's just a joke. Maybe this is just a joke. Okay, well, I haven't touched the right one yet, so let's just do that. It's all or nothing. The right chest, we haven't touched it yet. It's gotta be that one. Maybe it's never maybe it never changes. Maybe it was the right chest every time. That was the right choice every time. No, nope, it's not the right choice. Everything's the wrong choice. What an embarrassment. I'm a gambler though. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I have to get it. It's killing me that I haven't gotten anything yet. I don't know if there's like a, a second prize, like a, a second best prize. We'll go middle. Thank you! I... What, see, that was three tries, so I lost 300 rupees from that. No, I don't want to keep going. You mad? What a waste. Alright, well, 
Yeah, I don't know what's special about this town, and maybe, you know, that's a good incentive to explore it. Um, I haven't, I really haven't spent much time here in my other playthrough. I will definitely sleep in one of the beds. Um, I'm running low on rupees now after that game, so I'm just gonna go with the normal bed. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I can, I, yes, I could have done a fluffier one for 20 more rupees, but for the joke of it, I'm gonna go with 20 rupees. And we'll go to morning just because I don't feel like being in nighttime when I get out of here. Oh. So well now we're all healed up, so that's good. Yeah, there's just you know, there's normal people here. It's not like a village that sports a certain kind of race in it. Um, but it's a neat village though, it's a different look. Um, on the beach, I mean, with all the torches and all the huts, it's kind of more like a beach town. I like it. Um What's this hut? Does it belong to anybody? No. Definitely see if there's any side quests around here. I'm sure there are. That there should be a shrine, actually. Because this is a town, so there's always something. There's always a shrine right by a town, so you can warp to it. So I gotta go find that. Are, are you sailing with a raft? Or have you gone sailing with a raft? Yes, I have. Oh. Is there anything to tell me about that? No. Not really. Yeah, let me go locate the shrine for this town. It should be up north of it a little bit. It shouldn't be difficult to find. Um, we might have to climb for it. I'll climb up this way. Yeah. Um, if you come in here from the north, you should be able to find the shrine pretty easily. I came a little more from the west. I remember my first time playing, I found the shrine right away before I even located the town. I don't know why I remember that so vividly, but I do. Nope, oh, there it is, right there. So I had it right. It was elevated above the town, but only it was a little more... It was that way. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get over there. I'm gonna rush it. I wish I could run faster. I don't have anything speed enhancing. Maybe I can do some cooking. Yeah, I don't think you can kill these cows, by the way. Yeah, see, they just kind of get get all pissy when you try to attack them. Yeah, it's a rare sight that isn't raining here right now. So I was going to say, that's one of the things that really makes this part of the world tough to explore. It's raining so much, so therefore you can't climb all the time. So that can get pretty annoying, but right now I'm just going to relish in the fact that it's not raining. I almost don't want to do this shrine because I don't want to waste the time, you know, where it's not raining right now. I don't want to waste it. I want to go in here when it's raining, but we'll just go with it. Whatever. Okay, a weighty decision. A Clearly a shrine based off of weight scales and metal blocks so we'll be doing these kinds of puzzles it's probably just going to be a matter of locating enough blocks to get the... that fell off oh, it, I guess it stayed under just enough to hold the thing down but yeah, it's just going to be a, a matter of finding the the uh, blocks to drop on things I'm gonna not waste my master sword on these weak ass things I'm actually gonna use something a little bit weaker on them. Just because I just they they see like they didn't even get an attack off, and I was using something that took about three hits to kill it with. So it's not like he didn't have a chance. I'll probably put that sword up on the way out. Well, there's not gonna be a way out, dummy. You go to the you go to the uh, monk at the end, and you get out there. Here, just throw this. Throw it over the fence. Or not. <laughs> this probably isn't even that much better of a weapon. It's only three points better than that. Well, we'll stick with it. Okay, looks like we're not just dealing with the weight puzzles. I have to get, find a way to press this block down. So I am assuming there's got to be something. There we go. I just do this. And of course I'm going to have to open that chest. See, that's kind of a tricky puzzle in a way. Because you think, oh, well, you know, the... 
the only thing the chest is there for is for you to pull it over the fence and open it. You don't use it to solve a puzzle, but no, it's actually used to solve this puzzle. Kind of clever. And you can always go back in and open it. Just go around here, and... What was our um, tool chest for a broadsword? I'll actually get rid of this crappy thing I just picked up. <laughs> and that was short-lived, and I'll pick up that. happily use that against these other guys if there aren't any more in here. Okay, I have another weight puzzle here. This one involves um, double the scale, so so first of all, we have to be able to actually get on, get on top of one. Which actually wasn't as hard as I thought. I thought I was going to have to weigh one down in order to get on this. Um, now, let's see. That is too far away. That's not even metal, never mind. So I can't even use that. Well, I do have that treasure chest that I just used, and I have that metal box from earlier. So I could just use those to toy around with this. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm looking around, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking around if there's anything else around here that I can use uh, Magnesis on. They don't have to backtrack. Um, I definitely want to... Oops. I did not know you could do that. You can push them up with these things. Well, hold on. What I want to do... Is bring... Oh my god. I'm incompetent as all hell right now. I want to bring this one down. It didn't come down as far as I would have liked. And then we're going to bring it back up by weighing something else down. I'm assuming it's whatever is directly across. I don't. I, I think it's two separate scales. I don't think like they affect each other in different ways. So it really shouldn't be that tricky. In fact, I don't even know why they need the two scales. Maybe we'll find out in just a little bit. Jump on this. That will bring this down a little bit. See, this one up front, I don't know what it's for, because it doesn't... You can't get to any of the ledges from there. And see, hitting that doesn't affect anything. So I don't know what this scale up front is here for. Well, either way, we are going to do a switcheroo type of deal. Looks like this treasure chest is all I really need to solve this puzzle here. So I'm gonna get here, get on top of this... And get over there with the chest. Very easy. Very easy. That wasn't even worth it. That was it too. A weighty decision. What was the what was the decision? Is what I wonder. I'm not quite sure. That wasn't a very good shrine. I'm, I'm going to be honest. They could have thought up something a little more creative than that. Like something that needed more weight, or I don't know. But whatever. It is what it is. It's done. Now we have three spirit orbs. There's probably a goddess statue in this town. So if I can get me one more shrine, I can come back here and turn them in. Alright, so there's surely plenty to do in this area. I see uh, a camp over there. A water camp that we haven't seen really much of. So I can head over there and fight some guys. Um... I'll definitely be hanging around this town a little more, but I want to do some out-of-town exploration while it's not raining. Take advantage of that. So, I'm going to rush on out of here. And see what's on the shore. See what else we can find out here. Now it's raining. As soon as we step out, it starts raining. That's kind of funny. Well, maybe I'm not going to take advantage of the lack of rain. Oh well, I'm still gonna go out here. It's gonna be a nice change of gameplay here. At least a change of environment. Not a change of gameplay, but a change of environments being out. You know, on the beach environment. We haven't really seen that much in this playthrough. Oh, I was trying to sneak up on him. I still try to. See, they run just about as fast as you do at sprinting speed. Sprinting speed. Ugh. So. 
You just gotta shoot at them if they start running away. That's all you can do. You can't chase them down. I see something sparkling up there. Maybe it's just the rain. Yeah, that's probably just the rain making a sparkling visual effect. Oop. Yeah, you can find a lot of crabs out here too. Which, of course, makes plenty of sense. Is that a Ventide Island? I think that is. I'm saving that to after we get the uh, to after we get through all four uh, divine beasts. That's my plan. That's gonna be like the last thing I do before I go to Hyrule Castle. And I haven't completed that yet, in case I haven't mentioned it. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Or it could be fun. It probably won't be fun. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, come on, get a better arc on that. I'm gonna need to buy some arrows. Hopefully, there's a shop in that town. There should be. So I'm definitely gonna run back there and take care of that. Maybe this can, this might solve a Korok puzzle. I just have a feeling I'm gonna need this rock, so I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit. Maybe put it in a spot where I can remember. I just have a feeling because it just seems like an optimal place to put Korok puzzles, like the rock puzzles. It's right here on the beach. I don't see anything though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this for now. I just love the, the like the atmosphere right here, just like the sounds you hear, like the sounds of the seagulls. Um, it's just really neat. I'm gonna go over to this camp and see what's going on. Usually, should there should be some Lithophiles over here, which looks like there's one that might be aware of my presence. Yeah, he's about to blow his horn, and they're all gonna start shooting at me, aren't they? No, they're gonna start swimming towards me. He probably has a bow. Oh, I'm gonna try to stay out of his range. Not really out of his range, but I'm gonna keep him obstructed by those trees. The archer. Spin, spin. I'm trying to pull off a spin attack to get a shot off of both of them. That white Zalfo, I don't know what white Zalfos. What different. What make them special. Yeah, the Zalfos are interesting enemies. They're just. They're, they're not the same. Class-wise, of the Bacalbans and Malbans, so it's always tough to tell what what they're going to be packing. It might even be like a. I mean, no, he's not that strong. I was thinking he's maybe he's like as strong as the silver Bacalbans. Maybe he's not white and silver. It's always tough to tell that stuff apart. Ooh, ooh, they may be silver, but look at that ruby, sapphire, t and I might have got a topaz. I think. I couldn't tell. There's tons of other stuff here, some palm fruit. Oh yeah, that archer's still over there. Kind of a long shot. Actually, I have bomb arrows. Okay, yeah, I forgot I I had bomb arrows equipped when I was fighting the Bacalpins earlier. So that's why I'm low on arrows. And that's not because, yeah. What am I doing? Like, how am I doing on regular arrows anyway? Just out of curiosity. I have plenty, I have 51. Well, let me see what's over here. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, pfft. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to wear my Lithora tunic out here. So I think I actually will switch to that. Um, so I'm going to be doing some swimming out here. Clearly being close to the ocean. I wonder if there's anything in here. This middle part? What is this all about? I thought maybe jumping in would get me a Korok, but maybe not. That's interesting. Alright, let's switch on over to the Zora armor. How many pieces of that do I have? I think I just had the... the yeah, the... The... Pants piece and the torso piece. I don't have the head piece yet. That should be from their shrine. Most likely nearby Zora's domain that I haven't found yet. But this is good enough. We'll be wearing this armor for a little while. Um... Is that a... Rock puzzle over there. I see some rocks. This looks interesting. What is this? It's very sparkly. Is this where I just killed those? Yeah, it's just where I killed those guys. That's why it's a little sparkly. Okay. Um, we're just gonna stick to the beach for a little while. I need to stop playing right now. So yeah, I'm gonna keep exploring this next time and let's play Breath of the Wild. All right. So see you later.